When you got your knighthood, you thought about that. Mm. But what was the hesitation for you? To do what? Whether or not to take the knighthood. Um, you know, you hear so much uh, about people who uh, turn it down. And they sort of, no, you know, I wouldn't accept that. I don't believe in the monarchy and all that. You know, and they're, they're taking a stance. Um, and someone said there's a certain cachet to turning it down, you know, so I was, I was aware of all of that. And growing up, you know, I'd always thought, would I, wouldn't I, if it ever came to that. Um, but in thinking about it, I thought, you know what, it's a huge honour. It's like being at school and you get the art prize or something. It's a huge honour. You were also a bit cheeky too because you said you liked the Queen and you remembered her from your youth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I do, you know. This thing people now, the generation now, can't understand is that guys my age, we were like, what, 14, very f formative teenage years, and the Queen was sort of 24 or something. So to us, she was a babe. So we were like, whoa. There was a certain lustfulness in us teenagers Do you, for I our, think the Her Majesty. Been... <laughs> I, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I read where you said she's got a nice heave. Yeah, you've been reading about me. That's what we used to say in Liverpool. We said, God, look at the heave on her. <laughs> Great. Yeah. I so, assumed I knew what that meant. That's a heave, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at the heave on her. Right, yeah. And uh, so we grew up loving the Queen for various reasons. I mean, now, you know, I'd be lucky enough to meet her. I just think she's a great woman.